Hey there, struggling with connectivity issues in your gaming or streaming sessions? This week, I've got a comprehensive guide for you on how to fix NAT type for TP-Link routers. Whether you're battling lag or facing difficulty joining multiplayer games, changing your NAT type can make a world of difference. Let's dive into the straightforward steps to open up your network and enhance your online experience. NAT, or Network Address Translation, is a crucial aspect of your home network that affects how your devices communicate with the internet. It translates private addresses for public use often impacting your gaming and streaming performance. There are generally three types of NAT. Open, type one, offers the best connectivity and allows seamless connections with other open, moderate, or strict NAT types. Moderate, type two, a middle ground that poses some restrictions. Strict, type three, the most restrictive, often causing issues in online gameplay or video chats. For most users, moving from a strict to an open or moderate NAT type improves connectivity issues significantly. Step 1. Access your router's admin interface. First, connect to your TP-Link router via a wired or wireless connection. Open a web browser and type in your router's IP address, usually something like 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1. If you're unsure, check the label on your router or its manual for precise details. Once on the login page, enter your username and password. If you haven't changed it, the default may be admin, admin. Step two, enable UPnP. Once you've logged in, navigate to the Advanced tab. Look for NAT forwarding or a similar option and then select UPnP. Ensure UPnP is enabled as this automatically manages port mappings between the devices on your network and external servers, often smoothing out NAT issues. Step three, configure port forwarding. For a more tailored approach, head back to NAT forwarding and click on virtual servers. To open ports, hit the Add button to input to open ports, hit the Add button to input specific game or application ports. Typically, the port type is TCP, UDP, or both, depending on the application. Ensure the internal IP matches the device needing access. Once you've added these, save your changes. Step four, set up a DMZ, demilitarized zone. If the above steps don't resolve the NAT issues, assigning your device to a DMZ could help. Again, under NAT forwarding, find DMZ settings. Enable DMZ and input your device's IP address in the designated field. Beware that placing a device in DMZ mode removes it from the security shield the router typically offers, so proceed with caution. And there you have it. By following these steps in this guide on how to fix NAT type for TP-Link routers, you should have a smoother, more reliable internet experience, perfect for gaming or streaming. Remember, altering NAT settings can sometimes make your network more open to threats, so always ensure your device software is up to date to maintain security. Enjoy your newfound speed and connectivity, and happy gaming or streaming.